During a press event at its testing facility in Suffolk, Virginia, Volvo Penta announced the latest addition to its growing Gen 5 gas stern drive lineup, a 5.3 liter V8 available in 300 and 350 horsepower versions. The GM-built all-aluminum block weighs 960 pounds, making it 119 pounds lighter than the company's previous generation V8, resulting in a 15% improvement in power-to-weight ratio. It also features the industry's first direct fuel injection technology on a stern drive, delivering an 11 to 1 compression ratio, as well as better fuel economy and lower emissions. Volvo Penta also expanded its Gen 5 V6 4.3 liter gas engine line by unveiling a new 280 horsepower model. It joins 200 and 240 horsepower versions launched earlier in the year at the Miami International Boat Show. What's exciting about these engines is, uh, is the new technologies that have not existed in the marine environment before. Direct injection uh, increases the compression ratio, improves the fuel efficiency and contributes to that all-around performance. Direct injection response is, is uh, you can't actually describe it, you have to actually feel it. Journalists had the opportunity to experience this firsthand aboard a series of Gen 5 powered boats. In addition to direct fuel injection, all Gen 5 stern drives feature variable valve timing for more power through the RPM range, closed freshwater cooling for improved engine durability, wideband O2 sensors that optimize engine performance, and forward located service points, which simplifies repairs for dealers. This is a 19 foot Stingray, and it's the new 4.3 liter, 240 horsepower. I'm going to show you some of the torque coming out of the hole. Let me get just about stopped. You ready? Yep. It's not hit the throttle and wait for something to happen. It's when you hit the throttle, hold on, because you're going somewhere. You feel the torque all the way to the max RPM. I mean, here we are, we're just right at 2,500 RPMs, and then when you nail it, I mean, you, you feel it. It sets you back in the chair. That's impressive. We're looking at a new uh, next generation V8 350 and it's currently mated to a four-wheel drive. Previous generation engines we introduced aluminum heads but now this is all aluminum block, all aluminum heads and a standard freshwater cooling so you have antifreeze in the block and heads for the life of the product. We've, we've incorporated a um, front end accessory drive casting which incorporates almost the entire front of the engine here. You've got an alternator that mounts to that casting. All of your uh, belt idlers and automatic tensioners are machined in that one machining setup with the alternator so your belt stays in alignment. We have this heat exchanger here that plugs into the same casting with tubes with double o-ring in combination with this expansion tank for the uh, coolant which plugs into the same casting with double o-rings that eliminates all of the hoses in the freshwater circuit the fuel system mounts to the same casting the raw water pump and the power steering pump mount to the same casting. The engine oil cooler, which uses glycol and engine oil, mounts to the same casting with four O-rings. Uh, that doesn't see seawater, so there's no corrosion issues with the oil cooler. And finally, the uh, engine oil filter is located here. That's again part of the same casting. You remove this cap, you have a removable, uh, crushable, incineratable cartridge. That's the same service part we have today for every other engine. This is the uh, direct injection fuel rail and injector assemblies. So these are the injectors that are operating at up to uh, 2,250 PSI. We can see a cylinder head here. And we can see a port where the injector would install into the cylinder head and inject fuel directly into the, on, on the top of the piston. You can see what that piston would look like. And we can see this chamber shape that's optimized to receive that jet of fuel that the injector would spray down right into the top of the piston. If we move around, we can see where the pressure is actually generated. You've got a three lobe uh, pump drive on the back of the camshaft. It's making this lifter go up and down. It's moving this spring. And inside this piece here is the actual high pressure fuel pump. So you have a piston inside here moving up and down. Uh, this solenoid is controlled by the ECU. Plug is in here. And then whatever pressure we command in the fuel rails is uh, maintained by this solenoid 
as this pump's driving up and down continuously when the engine's running. Compared to our old engines uh, with a cast iron and fixed cam and, and multi-port fuel injection, the combination of this technology uh, allows you to get a 240 horsepower engine that behaves like our old V8 270. Uh, in fact, our new V6 280, which we've launched here today with you, is uh, outperforms our old V8 270 in acceleration by 15%, by fuel mileage by 8%, and of course, it's a lower-priced engine. Boat Guide's Jonathan Lee reporting from Suffolk, Virginia.